how to sketch the graph of a square root function. Um, I'm going to use the equation f of x equals the square root of 9 minus x minus 2. Okay, and I'm going to identify the transformations and how to find the y and x intercept algebraically. So first you want to start off by identifying what paragraph you're using. And so for this paragraph, we're using the square root function, which is the square root of x. And for this paragraph, the graph looks like that. Um, next, after you find what paragraph you're using, you want to find the transformation. And for the transformations, the first thing you want to identify is the reflection that you're using. So when it equal, equals negative f of x, the reflection is over the x-axis. And then when g of x equals f of negative x, the reflection would be over the y-axis. So for this graph, we don't have any negative sign on the outside, so the reflection will be over the y-axis. Next you want to find out what the horizontal shift would be. So for the horizontal shift, when f is a number, when x minus a number, you want to move to the right. And when an x is plus a number, you want to move to the left. And then for this graph, um, we have a minus number. So we are going to be moving right. And you want to find out, since it's under a square root, what number makes it 0. So if you were to put a 9 in place of the x, 9 minus 9 is 0. So you would be moving right nine places. Next for the vertical shift. For the vertical shift, when f of x is plus a number, you'll be going up. And when f of x is minus a number, you go down. So for this one, it's minus 2, so we will be going down 2, okay? So those are the transformations for this graph, and I'm, next I'm going to show you guys how to find the intercepts, and I will rewrite what the transformations are. So the transformations for this graph, it is over the y-axis, it is right 9, and down 2. All right, so for the y and, y and x intercepts, um, you want to substitute the f of x with a 0 for the x-intercept. So you would do 0 equals the square root of 9 minus x minus 2. So your first step you want to do is you want to add a 2 to each side to solve this. So for you, you're doing this to undo the negative. And whatever you do to one side, you want to do to another. So then you'll have 2 equals the square root of 9 minus x. 
because these cancel it out. So, to undo the square root, you want to square each side. So the square root of 2 equals 4, and this just becomes 9 minus x. And then same as we did in this step, you want to, subtract, you want to add the x to both sides. So we're going to add them both to undo the negative. So this becomes 4 plus x equals 9. Next, you want to subtract 4 from each side to get the x alone. These get canceled out, and x equals 9 minus 4 is 5. So then, our ordered pair for this would be 5, 0. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to figure out the y-intercept. And for the y-intercept, you want to substitute the x in the f of x with a 0. So you would do 0 equals the square root of 9 minus x minus 2. Now, an easy way to remember that you're substituting a number, the x with a different number, is by putting parentheses. So you just do 9 minus parentheses minus 2 to help you remember to place the 0 in. So this just becomes the square root of 9 minus 2. Now the square root of 9 is 3. So 3 minus 2 equals 1. So this gives you an ordered pair of 0, 1. So now if you're looking at the board, you have one, two different points. And then over here, you would have the point of 9 and then a negative 2. Because you're going right, which is positive, and down, which is negative. So then you have three different points that you'll be able to plot on your graph. So I'm just going to write down what your points are, just so we have them. And I am going to start plotting our graph. Now, for the graph, the easiest thing to do is to do your reflections first. So I previously showed you guys what the parent graph of the square root function looks like. I'm going to demonstrate that with a dashed line in a different color. So our next step, we have the reflection over the y-axis. So I'm going to use a different color and reflect it right now because it's really easy if you do it right from the beginning. It doesn't help you, it helps you not get confused later on the plotting. So um, after that we will plot our right and our down two. So you start off using the point of origin which is our guiding point which is zero zero. You want to go, let me put some points on. So you want to go nine spaces right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and down two spaces. So that would be your first point. Your next point, we have five, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, and we are staying right on zero. So that would be your second point. And then our last point is zero, one. So zero, and we are going up one. So our graph, after we reflect it, is going to be going this way. So all we have to do now 
is connect our points. And that's the graph. Now, I hope you guys understood how to solve a square root function. It's pretty simple once you get the steps down. Thank you for watching.